What is going on YouTube? This is your boy Pat. In today's video, I'm going to give you my top six tips that I have for you in order to land an SEO job, right? So more and more companies in 2020 are realizing that, you know, SEO isn't what it used to be, right? It's a specific role that they need to hire somebody in order to allow them to rank organically for whatever product or service they are trying to sell, right? So SEOs are becoming more and more in demand year after year, right? Especially now in 2020 with everything literally being online, companies are panicking, trying to figure out, you know, their online solutions, digital marketing solutions. And the SEO is very important because we pretty much hold the keys for them to be able to rank for whatever they want to show up on the Google search engine for, right? So if you want to start a career in SEO and start making 40, 50, 60 plus K a year, then this is the right video for you to watch, right? In order to prepare yourself for the interview and actually landing a job, you first want to go through these six steps in order to ensure that you're maximizing your own ability in order to be proficient through that interview and land that job that you've always been wanting in SEO, right? So my first tip is to first understand basic marketing, right? Many SEOs get it wrong. They don't understand marketing, so they can only rank for stuff, but they can't actually market to their end consumers, right? Which isn't going to get you as many conversions as you might want to get, right? This is why it is so important to understand the fundamentals and basics of marketing in order to combine both marketing and SEO when developing your role and skills as an SEO, right? You wanna be able to combine both of these skills in order to be a very effective marketer and SEO, right? You can't do one without the other. So it's very important to understand the fundamentals of both marketing and SEO, right? And no, you don't need a degree, although a degree in marketing would help, but it's not necessary. Just go online. There's a, there's a ton of information that you can get online for completely free on how to be a marketer, how to be a great digital marketer and how to be a SEO, right? There's much information out there. So go ahead and look through those. And then tip number two is to learn the basics of SEO, right? Actually start digging into what is SEO, how to do on-page SEO, how to do link building and how to do keyword research, right? Those are probably some of the more important tasks that you're going to be doing on a daily day-to-day -day basis as a SEO, right? So it's very important to go through whatever you can find online and learn the basics of on-page link building and keyword research. Those are probably the top three most valuable tools that an SEO can have that can help any company improve their online presence, right? It's very important to have those three top skills in order to be able to, to answer any questions that the interviewee might have, right? Regarding your background in SEO. So it's very important to be able to show that you actually know what you're talking about regarding on-page link building and keyword research, right? You want to be able to have some of that SEO jargon that you can use with a experienced SEO, right? Whether, whether that be a manager or a director that's interviewing you, you want to be able to communicate effectively in some of the more popular SEO topics, right? Tip number three is to get certified in online courses, right? The majority of these are free and the number one resource that I would recommend you to learn and get certified is Google Analytics as pretty much every SEO digital marketing position is kind of requiring that person to be certified in Google Analytics or at least be proficient in it, right? And Google Analytics is totally free and you guys can go ahead and sign up for that, right? So if you go ahead and just Google search, you know, analytics.google.com, you can go ahead and find all these courses that you can take, right? Google Analytics for beginners, advanced Google Analytics, um, they have many courses that you can take and these are all free. And then you can actually go ahead and get certified in these topics, right? And they have many different certifications that they offer. They even have some demo accounts that you can play with, but this is completely free guys. Google is literally allowing you to take a step in the right direction by offering you these free courses. So go ahead and take advantage of them. And if you didn't know, Moz Academy, which is a big SEO tool, they are offering free training until May 31st, I believe. You can go over to academy.moz.com and they have a promo code called We Got This. So just scroll through all these different all these different programs that they have and you can literally go through these completely for free, right? Look at these. 
$149, $199. And these are all free right now. So go ahead and take advantage of this as I believe there's only a week left. So if you haven't taken advantage of this, go ahead and do this. This is very important guys. And I'm going to show you in the next couple of tips why it's so important to have these certifications to have you know so that social proof that you know what you're talking about then my tip number four is to create a linkedin account right linkedin is becoming more and more popular every day especially if you're trying to land a job in anything business related marketing related and as a seo it's very important for you to have an updated linkedin profile right so have a picture have a good description get endorsements, right? Get recommendations. All these things are very important, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at my profile and what are some things that you can do for your profile in order to maximize your search visibility on LinkedIn, right? Because it is also a search engine and recruiters can actually find your profile regarding what search streams are typing up, right? So if we go into LinkedIn, let's go ahead and click on my profile. And once you're here, right? I have digital marketing and SEO. And if we scroll down, I have my city that I'm in, right? So if a recruiter is searching for SEOs in Dallas, you know, I wanna make sure that I show up. And then you wanna have a good about us section, right? And you wanna show exactly what you do and what skills can you offer, right? So I just include all my skills down here. And then in the featured section, I have my personal website. And then I usually have my, my resume, but I'm not looking for a job currently anymore. So I just took that off, but you can also add your resume just by going here and just by uploading a media right just upload whatever media you're using to make sure that your resume is visible to any recruiters that would want to be hiring an seo right then if we scroll down you know you just want to be active you know like and share stuff that are within your industry or whatever things you like make sure you have your past experience as well my education and then licenses and certification guys this is where i said it's very important to have certifications because you can then go ahead and add those in your linkedin profile you can see i have my google analytics right here and then i also took these other courses from linkedin learning now i think this is actually paid for but i was able to do it for free because i was in college when i took these courses so if you do have the chance to you know, take these courses, go ahead and do so because you can then go ahead and add these on your LinkedIn profile, right? Makes you look very professional and it's definitely gonna make you stand out between those that don't have any licenses and certifications, right? Then if we scroll down, you can see here we have the skills and endorsements. This is very important guys because this is also gonna help you search this is also going to help you appear when someone is searching for any of these skills, right? Recruiters can type in certain skills that they want a individual to have when they're doing a, they're doing searches. So this is very important to have guys. So just first of all, add as many skills as you can, and then go ahead and get your friends or family to endorse you for all these skills, right? I have many other skills that I have endorsements from. So it's very important to be, you know, active on LinkedIn and get as many of your friends or colleagues to endorse you for any skills that you want to show up for. That's it. We have recommendations, right? I only have two, but it would help if you had more. It just gives you that extra social proof, right? People that have actually worked for you, or maybe you did a project for them. Go ahead and ask them if they can leave you a nice recommendation. It's really going to help you out when recruiters are looking at your profile and they just want to see that, you know, what you're talking about and you're not lying on your resume, right? Tip number five is to actually build your own website, right? It's very simple and easy to do nowadays and it's very inexpensive. I used to think you have to be able to code, but you don't have to do any of that. Go ahead and get a WordPress website, completely user-friendly. They have drag and drop plugins, things like that. Hosting is about 60 bucks. If you can get a coupon and a domain is 10 bucks, so it's really cheap. Anyone can actually get a website today. So it's highly recommended to go out and purchase your own domain, build your own website, you know, whatever the case may be, and try to rank for 
local keywords that are easy to target, right? So I, I created a web design website in my local city and I ranked it in about a month just because the keyword was so easy to rank for. So this would be a great strategy for you guys because you can then show off this project that you did to your future employers, right? You can show them, oh, I actually built a website and ranked it so they know that you're not just making up what you wrote on your resume, right? And you actually have proof of a website that you've built and ranked and they're gonna have no problem hiring you, I can guarantee it. Tip number six is to have a nice resume, right? And you can build a very professional looking resume using Canva. So if you go to canva.com, you can just go into here, go to create a design, go to resume right here. And it's gonna give you many different options and templates that you can choose from, right? So just go ahead and choose any of these and it's gonna look very professional, right? You're definitely gonna stand out by using some of these different templates rather than just a conventional black and white. And again, on your resume, make sure you include as many certifications, courses that you've taken, knowledge of SEO tools, anything that's gonna back up that knowledge of you being an expert or at least proficient in SEO, right? When you're starting off, it can be kind of difficult, but this is where those certifications and courses that are completely free can give you that upper hand between other people that don't have that experience, right? Those are my top six tips, guys, for you to be able to land an SEO job in 2020 and beyond, right? It's a very great field to get into. I personally love it a lot, and I think many of you guys that are trying to learn more about digital marketing and SEO, it would be a great entry-level position to start off and get into, right? That's all I have for you guys today. If you liked this video, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button. It will really help me out and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Peace.